what up what up Wimbush here and today i'm excited to show you guys the brand new foliage tool that was just brought in the uefn now this tool was one of my favorite tools coming from unreal engine 5 when i first dove in a uefn i was surprised that it wasn't even there but i'm glad that they finally added it so to get started what you're going to do is come up here to the top left where we have selection mode and you just left click on this and come down here to foliage now this is going to bring us to this module called the foliage module and you can see right here in the bottom left hand corner it says drop foliage here now to do this you're going to need a static mesh and so i'm going to show you exactly how you could go about getting that and so if i come down here to my content drawer let me actually dock this into the panel i have a couple of assets already downloaded but let me first let me type in tree just to show you guys what i'm talking about so if i come to all type in tree you can see down here these aren't static meshes so yes we could drag and drop these into our scene here but if we try to drag and drop it into the drop foliage it's not going to work and so let me actually delete this and show you where we could get some trees at inside my selection mode i deleted it but let me come down here right click and let me come to the fab store now here most of the stuff that you're going to get is going to be a static mesh and so the one that i used i actually came over here to packs then i come down here to free and I'm going to use this one down here called Alt West Volume 7 Foliage. Now, let me click on this because you can see we have some brush. We have some Joshua trees. And this is going to be perfect for the scene that I want to build out. So once you add it to your content browser, again, this was all free. I'm going to come down to my content drawer. Then I'm going to dock it into my layout here. Come back here to my foliage tool. And I'm going to come down here and look for where we have those Joshua trees. Now, you can see right here I have inside the Alt West folder. We have a lot of these static meshes in here and you can see right here it'll be underscored with like this light blue underscore here and it will say static mesh here at the bottom so for now it's as easy as just clicking and dragging and dropping it here where it says drop foliage here i'm going to drop it here and then i'm just going to go to my foliage tutorial content folder right here i'm just going to click on save and now you can see that we have it inside of here so now if I drag across my viewport here, you can actually see we have this half sphere here. And actually, let me close out my content browser just to make this a little bit larger here inside of my viewport. So the first thing I'm going to do is just going to left click and I'm going to drag. And you can see right off the bat, we have all those Joshua trees just being painted inside of our scenery here, which is really cool. So let me actually zoom in here a little bit just so you can see what's going on. So you can see we have a lot of Joshua trees here going on. And I'm actually going to hit Control Z. Because if I look over here on my left hand side, you can see where it says paint density is at one right now. Now, if I click on 0.1 and actually start painting this, you can see we have a lot less Joshua trees in here. So I'm going to hit Control Z again. Let's do 0.01. And I'm just going to click again. And now you can see that it's more sparse. So depending on what kind of setup you want, you want to make sure that you pay attention to this density over here. And let me actually show you this as well. So you can see that we have this slope here. If I left click and drag on here, maybe let me put it up to 0.1 so we have a little bit more. If I turn around here, you can see that these Joshua trees are actually coming in at an angle in which if you go out in nature, nothing really grows at an angle like that. No matter if it's on like the side of a hill, it's usually growing vertical. And so we can fix that with inside of our paintbrush here. So if I hit Control Z, I'm just going to zero everything out here. Let me click on my Joshua tree right here, and it's going to bring up some more attributes. So let me drag this over a little bit more so we can see better. But if I come down here to where we have Z offset, we have align to normal and average normal. So I'm going to actually turn off align to normal. And I'm going to turn on average normal. And if I come back over here and I start painting on the slope, you can see now everything is vertical. It's just pointing straight up and down. So it was easy as that. Now, let's say that you got deep in your project and you wanted to remove these it's as easy as coming up here hitting erase you can just actually click and drag over it and it's going to erase it and it's going to erase whatever you have selected so right now we just have this one tree in here let me actually paint a couple of different trees in here so i'm going to come back down here dock in my panel and let's say we want to add some more different type of varieties in here so i'm going to click and drag this one in here same deal to save it here maybe let me add in a bush in here as well and I'm just going to stick with these three. So I'm going to close my content browser again. All three of these have check marks and that means they're activated. But you actually want to select this one, hold down the shift key and select all three of them. And you see right here, it says three types selected. So now when we paint, 
it's actually going to paint on all three of the selected items in there and if you look at the number it actually correlates with the number of meshes that are inside of your viewport here as well so you could do this just to add a lot of variety to whatever you're painting in there you could come down here you can see that we have a line of normal right here it has like this minus symbol in there and that's because with these two right here that we just added if i scroll back down here these actually have the check marks there so if we have all three of these selected whatever we do now inside of the attributes panel that's what's going to be selected so now if i paint this on you can see on the slope there everything is going as it should now let's say we only want to delete these trees right here i'm going to come over and i'm going to uncheck these right here so uncheck this uncheck this and only have the middle one selected so now that i have a race selected up here at the top if i start erasing these you can see it's only erasing the selected foliage there which it's going to be very helpful if you come in here and let's say that the client doesn't like that or you don't like that then you could just completely erase it out of your scene there and not mess up anything else that you have here so the foliage tool is really powerful i would suggest that everybody go in just play with it play with the different attributes and see what fun stuff you can come up with it's not only used for foliage you can also use it for like scattering rocks or garbage or any type of static mesh that you throw in there you're able to use this tool for so hopefully you found this helpful if you did make sure you subscribe to the channel leave a comment down below and until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you in the next video i see you soon take care